it's the 6th of April. We're back on the allotment. We've got serious weed work to be doing. We started on it yesterday, but there's still quite a lot coming through everywhere. And I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to use weed killer. Charles Dowding, the exponent of no-dig gardening in the UK, has a wonderful video in which he demonstrates creating a new garden just by throwing mulch on a mown lawn. He does say you have to get all the perennials out, but he doesn't say how. And the thing about our new allotment is it was absolutely covered in all kinds of weeds and perennials from two years of not being cultivated. And to get the perennials out, we would have had to dig it all over anyway, so what is the point of no dig? So it was a risk covering it with mulch and the perennials are of course coming through and it seems to me we've got to do something about them. We can either cover the entire area with black plastic for six months and then they won't get any light or water, but then we, it'll be difficult to plant stuff because black plastic doesn't let water through. So all things considered, I'm going to have a go at just spraying the individual tips of the perennials that are coming up, the couch grass and the dandelions mainly, with glyphosate. It's, it's a day, it's a calm-ish day, it's, there's not a lot of wind, it's going to be very local and the thing about this chemical is that it does break down once it dries out or once it's in contact with the earth, it's not long lasting. The damage it causes is when you mass spray huge areas and the wind carries it around and I'm not going to do that so I'm going to do it. Dandelions are not stupid. They're only small but they're making flowers as quick as they can. So I'm going to remove all the seed heads before I spray just to make sure they don't propagate themselves. So as I'm going around, I'm finding it's actually easier to pull up the spears of grass than to spray them because the spray just rolls off the blades. And I'm finding that, in fact, there's a blade of grass I pulled up, but it had to go a long way under the cardboard before it found a way out. So the mulch is actually compromising the grass quite nicely. And I'm more optimistic that the whole thing's not going to be overrun by weeds before we get round to planting. Meanwhile, Chris is fiddling with his asparagus. I planted the small asparagus bed here eight years ago. Not much did well, but this root clump, which I'm going to transfer, massive roots and three big beautiful spears. So, oh, won't it die? You have to wash it and soak it in something, won't you? Well, you were saying not to wash it. I'm going to put it in, mm -hmm. fill it back with compost, desk compost, and water it carefully. I think you're right. I said to Chris, don't wash it, which he was going to do, but I right. thought if he's going to transfer all this leftover soil anyway, whatever bugs are in there are going to be transferred, so don't bother washing the roots. Probably, strictly speaking, you shouldn't transfer old asparagus roots to new beds anyway, but he doesn't want to waste them. That's it in its nice new bed. I should now water it thoroughly, put another bucket of compost around it. So I've gone over all the perennials on the new bed with glyphosate. Well, it's a combination. I've pulled up what I thought I could just pull up easily and what I thought deserved the full treatment, I sprayed it. And now I'm going to just dig up some clumps of grass and things. Sometimes there's nothing for it but to get out the garden fork and dig. So that's the little patch I did today. This is what I weeded yesterday. Nice big heap of fresh greens. And another one over here. I started on the garlic as well. The Allotments Association runs the best kept allotment competition. What do you think of my chances of winning this year?